Today we're going to demonstrate using the light and laser sensor with the camera axe. So here's the light sensor and we'll just plug that into sensor port number one. And here is a laser sensor. We're going to plug that into sensor port number two. You'll want to use the general sensor menu to trigger the laser and light sensors. First we'll plug in a flash to camera flash number one. Now we'll go through the menu. Uh, the first section is for devices. Now device number one refers to camera or flash number one and device number two refers to camera or flash number two. The first line is which sensor is going to trigger device number one. Uh, since we have the light sensor plugged into sensor number one, we want to trigger flash number one with sensor number one, so that's correct. Device number two, we have nothing plugged into that, so we'll just leave that at none. The delay time in milliseconds will vary depending on what you're shooting. Uh, if your picture is taken too soon, then you'll increase the delay. If it's taken too late, you'll want to decrease the delay. We'll just leave that at zero for this example. The bulb is equivalent to bulb mode on a camera. Since we're using a flash here, uh, that doesn't really matter. We'll just leave it at two seconds. Pre-focus, that's if you're using a camera. Since we're using the flash, we'll just leave that at no. Now we're into the different sensor settings. I, I know that the light sensor um, will read a value of 999 when the laser is shining on it and a lower value, the ambient light in the room, when the laser's not shining on it. So what that means is we want to take a picture when it goes from a higher value to a lower value. So this low high means where do you want to trigger? And we want to trigger when it goes low. So I'll change this value to low. Um, since sensor number two just has the laser plugged into it, it doesn't really matter what that's set to here. The trigger value here is that the first number is the value you want to trigger at and the second, and you can modify that with the menu um, buttons here. And the second value is the value that it's actively reading. So if I bring over this sensor, you can see that when I shine the laser on it, it jumps up to 999. When I break the laser off, it goes down to, you know, around 450. So that means I want the trigger value to be between 999 and 450. Uh, the value is 800 right now, so that looks good. Again, the trigger value doesn't matter for sensor number two because that's just the laser. The power value is, what, do we want to turn the power off to a sensor when, when something happens? And we don't really need to turn the power off for the uh, light sensor. However, the laser sensor, we want to turn that off when the light sensor um, or sensor number one is activated so that we don't get this red dot in our photos. So we'll turn this to off on sensor number one, like that. And we should be good to go. So now I'll set up the laser and you hit activate and now when I break the laser beam from the light sensor you'll see this green light goes on and that means that the picture has been taken uh, or, or the flash has been activated I mean. If you also want to trigger a camera you'd then plug a camera into device number two and you want that to also be triggered off of the light sensor, so we'd set that to sensor number one. Now, with a flat or with a camera, the shutter has a long um, shutter lag, which means this isn't going to work if you have both of these set to zero. The flash is going to happen pretty much instantaneous, and the camera is going to have a long lag. So what you'd need to do is you need to sort of experiment to see how long your shutter delay is, but most cameras have something between a, a 50 and 100 millisecond delay so um, let's say we set that to 70 milliseconds 
and we leave the uh, camera or device number two set to zero milliseconds then it would kind of work out generally people are taking pictures in a dark room without the, the camera attached though so hopefully that explains to you how to use the light and laser sensor if you've got a question about this or some other setting on the camera X uh, the preferred method of asking those questions is through the forums because then everybody can benefit from your question